how did you become interested in how blind people play video games? It all started with a YouTube video. A blind person by the name of Terry Garrett. He was a teenager at the time. He was playing a game called The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time which is a classic Zelda adventure game that I remember playing as a kid as well. Yeah. He'd do a whole bunch of, of like hacks that he figured out. So for example, he could hear with the stereo audio what side of him enemies were on. He would walk around a room and whack the walls with his sword again and again and again until he heard a different kind of clinking noise. Okay, that's down the tunnel. He'd memorize a whole bunch of details um, and just through trial and error, eventually work his way through. Here's something that I take for granted, these video game experiences, right? There are a lot of people who go through so much effort just to have some semblance of that experience. I was amazed, but yeah. at the same time, I, I felt pain. I felt like, wow, like this is not a good state of affairs right now. We've got to do better than this. This isn't right. And that motivated me as like, okay, here's a place where just rethinking how we're designing these games can really enable people to have new types of meaningful experiences. You know, we've legitimately got cars that drive themselves. And when there's a kid who wants to play a video game or an adult for that matter, who wants to play a video game, who can't see the screen, we sort of shrug our shoulders, I think, collectively and say, uh, you're, you're asking a little bit too much, buddy. Yeah, and, and you right. said no. <laughs> you said no. That's I don't right. Think you are. That's right.